Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a short video. I want to showcase uh, the ways that I've been using texture and texture materials uh, with acrylic pouring. Uh, this is just a, an experiment that I did. The canvas was gessoed. I gave it a light wash of some gold paint, and this is a piece of cheesecloth that has been soaked in gesso and paint and applied to the canvas. This is very similar. Um, this is a larger piece. The background texture is tissue paper with gesso that's been applied. And then I added uh, some cheesecloth with gesso. And this has been sprayed with silver and more silver. And there's still work to do on this one. I'm just not sure where I'm going to go. This next example uh, is adding something to a painting. I had, there was a part of it I didn't like. And so I added a piece of cheesecloth soaked in gesso with gold paint. And then I added some ribbons of 24 karat gold. Uh, I still have a little work to do on this one as well, but I think it's an interesting effect. In this painting, I went and used some crackle medium, and actually it was a liquid, and that was the only way that I could get it into these sort of finger-like creations, which I did a, a pale green wash over, so they would blend a little better with the background of the painting, but it's a really interesting swipe painting that I did probably three years ago, and I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna jazz it up with a little bit of texture. This piece was done using modeling paste and crackle paste, which I applied to a canvas that I needed to gesso first so it can support the weight. And the canvas being flexible, you have to be careful that the paste does not want to chip or flake off of the canvas. Um, and again, it's in silvers. I have this one hanging by my front door. And when I walk by, it makes me smile. The light catches onto the silver metallic and uh, I think there's a few more that I've started. I just haven't painted on them. I've put the texture on and they've dried very well. This was over a year ago I was doing this. And uh, there'll be some video coming in the future showing how I put these together. This was an experiment done over a small poor painting that I wasn't overly thrilled with. So I did sort of a a wash of turquoise blue. You can still see some of the painting beneath it. I put a little bit of tissue paper on it and then the draped part is actually cheesecloth that's been soaked in gesso and applied. And this one I'm going to be adding some color, uh, some contrast, and maybe a little bit of metallic as well. This one is just tissue paper on a canvas uh, with gesso. And then I painted it, sprayed it with water, the paint goes down into the cracks. And then I've added some gold to the higher uh, edges of the texture. It's really quite effective. Uh, it's a really pretty piece. This again was an experiment. 
So I haven't painted this week. I've been playing with these texture pieces and I had a friend come over who, who cleaned up my studio. Uh, I'm so glad I didn't have a before image because it was pretty bad but it really looks lovely and I'm gonna to try to keep it in order. This is where I paint. This is in front of the window with the natural light. I've got bookcases of materials, uh, paints and mediums uh, and supplies. And I'm not overly proud of this, but I'm going to show you my stash of canvases. And should you hear me say, I'm going to Michael's to get canvases, I will hopefully hear from you that Gail you, know, you don't need to go buy one more canvas. This room is really nicely organized. I've got everything available. These most of these are larger canvases so I'm going to be playing with some larger canvases now that the studio is sort of reorganized. Thanks so much for watching and next Tuesday you will have a video tutorial probably on textures, maybe painting. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.